Good morning and welcome to the Ray Dog 614 Gaming channel today here on YouTube. Today I'm going to go over a few things with the Alienware Aurora R8. This is my new computer here and was I surprised when it sounded like a vacuum. Today I'm going to show you two things that you can do to quiet this thing down and make it a little more feasible to play, game, record. It uh, comes with the Intel i7 9700K, but it came air-cooled. So here are two of the things that you can do to quiet the air cool down with the fans that are sounding like a vacuum there. I have here the Corsair H60 Liquid Cool and the Corsair ML120 Pro LED Fan. This one here is going to replace my top fan a radiator and air cool over the processor and this one will be my front case fan here these two are much quieter all right so i have the r8 here it's pulled out show you a quick little thing of how to get the case open if you don't already know there's a little screw that's right here in the back of it i've already moved it you're just going to pull up on the tab nice and easy pops it out lift it right on up and then you got your base inside of your r8 here all right, here's your power core. Nice, easy way to get it open. You just unlock, unlock, and it'll just slide open. A little hard doing it one-handed, but. All right, now that it's all open, as you can see here, I've already installed the Corsair Liquid Cool. Fits in nicely here. Wire kind of hangs down. Here's your front fan. Here's your 120 millimeter front fan. It's a decent fan, but it is extremely loud. All right. As you can see, the Corsair fits snug over the uh, CPU processor there. Wires come over. Easiest way is to have them come down this way. That way, when the battery comes down, they kind of push down this way. There's not a much tension on it. No chance of rupturing them because it already has the natural curve coming this way here. As you can see there, the fan and the radiator fit right up nicely in the top of the case where the original fan was. The only difference is the original fan would sit in this little bracket right here, whereas when you connect the fan to the radiator, it actually is going to fit up in the case. So the bracket is there and it'll hold them in place nice and snug, but it doesn't actually fall down in here because when the radiator is attached to it, it's, too actu it's actually too big to fit all the way down in the bracket but it still works perfectly. It also pulls those wires up a little bit more, gives a little more space for that battery to come down for all of you that have this one. And you got your GPU sitting right here. I have my Elgato HD60 Pro installed in there for my game recording. And there's the pesky noisy fan right there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and replace that out here. A lot of people say it's a lot easier if you take out your video card and do all that. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that in there and then take it out and show you the final product. Alright, so before removing your fan here, you always want to make sure you know where everything is coming from. As you can see here, the power cable for that fan runs all the way along here and it goes into the motherboard right there where it says this front fan. Alright, so then you always want to make sure you unplug the wire first. Always ground yourself. You want to make sure you touch some metal before you do that. But it just pops out just like that, just like so. Pretty easy. It's a, it's a four pin power source. As you can see, there are four pins wired out. Now your front fan of this R8 is literally, you're just gonna push this little pin down, push here, and then it folds forward. Nice and easy. So you have your little power cable, so that's a little pain in the butt to try to work around, but you can get it. So as you can see, you pull it out from this side, get it a little bit of an angle, and it pops right out. Nice and easy. Cord, you gotta make sure it doesn't catch on everything else. There you go, cord's out, slides right out. And there you go, there's your fan. We're gonna replace it with the ML120 Pro LED. This ML120 Pro LED 
runs you, it's going to run about $27 to $32, depending on where you buy it, Amazon in-store. Alright, once we get this thing out of the box, we're going to take a look at this beauty here. Right, come right on out. Look at that. See-through blades for the LEDs. I just got the white one, so it's not going to make that much of a difference. Perfect match. It's going to fit right up. Go ahead and take this old fan out here. It's just held in by a few clips on either side. It'll pop right out. Gotta make sure it doesn't catch all the tabs. And there you go. Comes right out. So, and you got your coarse air here. It'll fit right through the wire. And it'll pop right in. Just make sure all the clips are in the right spot. So I'll just pop right over it. There you go. Pops right in. See? Nice and quiet. Alright, now that you got your new fan all prepped and ready in the box, like before, you go in at a nice little angle. Make sure everything aligns up. You gotta get over the over all the other wires. I have to push them down with a finger, but bam, right there, in the right spot, ready to go. Pop, make sure it's sitting level at the bottom, push the tab down, slide it right in, and you're in business. Simple as that. And you got your wire. Now this Corsair comes with a lot longer of a wire than the stock one. So you got this little zip tie, you can keep your wire management pretty good with it. You just want to take the wire off here, pull the one little section out because that's all you really need to get it all the way there as you can see. And then you can always zip tie it, wrap it, however you want to do your cable management. Right back on it. There we go, I got the cords wrapped back up. So it's just a nice cord. I'm gonna run it back all the way through underneath all the wires that it originally came in. And then as you can see, I'm gonna put it right back. You can only plug in one direction. You got the little clip entry, clip entry over here. Don't know if you can see that too well. But we'll go ahead and move it. As you can see, top fan, wire, clip right there, and you're on. And that's it. That's all you're doing for that. Now, your CPU was a little harder. You have to get a small wrench, or actually small screwdrivers, to fit in there, which I have right here. I have my little case of Phillips and uh, flatheads. So what you gotta do with that is you gotta take the fan off first, and then you gotta undo these uh, little screws here that hold on your heat shrink. And once you pull all that off, you'll have to wipe off the thermal paste. The Corsair here does come with a, a pre-applied thermal paste. You can use that or you can buy your own, whichever one you wanna do, wipe off the one that comes on, put on your own if you feel that it's better. I just left the original one on there and that just installs right there. So there, there's your two little upgrades for your R8 to quiet it down. You have your Corsair 120 millimeter fan for the front case, and then your water-cooled fan and radiator for the top. All right, once you're all done, we can close our system back up. We got them all plugged in. And as you can see here with that Corsair, power supply is going to go all the way down, and it's not going to start touching until right there. Right about there is where it starts to touch the water-cooled tubes. Not that big of a deal. A little bit of pressure, not too much, and it closes all the way down. So you're not going to get too much pressure on the 
the, the liquid cooler and it'll still walk nice and easy. Lock it down, lock it down, and you're all done. Okay, we're all done installing both of our Corsairs. I have the Corsair H60. At the time, it was only about 70 to 80 bucks when I bought it. Now there is a new version of the Corsair H80, which I have heard does still fit in the Aurora case. I know you do have limited space in it, so it is hard to find the appropriate uh, liquid cool that you can put in there, seeing as you can't buy, or I couldn't find anywhere to buy the actual Alienware water cooler. I couldn't find that, couldn't buy it separately or anything like that, so I opted with going with the Coarse Air because I heard good things about it. The H55 and the H60 do fit. The H80 I heard does fit as well, but I could not tell you from personal experience. Now, the H80, from what I understand, is a bigger radiator, it produces more air, it's got a higher pump. So it supposedly is supposed to be equivalent to using a two fan big radiator in a small 120 millimeter fan radiator combo. So if you are looking for a liquid cool, you might wanna look into doing the 80. I've done the 60 because that's what was available with me at the time of this video here and the Corsair 120 millimeter front fan. Now I do have it all installed. We're gonna go ahead and take a look, see if it'll boot up for me. All right, here, we're just going to go ahead and push the power button. All righty, starts to light up. Go ahead and turn on my monitors here. All right, what we got going on here? Don't mind the cables. I got a system coming to replace those cables, make a little better cable management. I know it's not the greatest. All right, seems to be lighting up. Both screens here. Keyboard lit up. Oh. There we go, let me turn my mouse on. All right, let's go ahead and put my passcode in. Look at that, lit right up. No error codes, nothing. So we're good to go. As you can see, both those fans work. It doesn't error code, doesn't message, powers right up after installation. All right, as you can see here, the fans are running great. Got the top fan, front fan, CPU fan you don't have to pay attention to. I got the liquid cool in there, so it's now plugged into a pump. But you're running at only 23%, 10% as the computer's just sitting there. And like I said, if you want to get a colored fan, you can, because as you can see right here, you can see right through the front case there. So I got the nice white light there. If you want, you can go ahead and get yourself a colored fan, make it blue, any other color you want with the Alienware. It fits in there perfectly, runs nice and quiet. Let's see if you can even hear it. There is the front fan. And here we go for the top fan. Again, no, no more sound here. All right, so there you go. We have it all set. We're good to go. Everything works appropriately. You don't hear a single sound out of the machine there. I know I'm not editing or doing anything right now. But with just the Corsair uh, H60 that I had in there before putting in that fan today, it still made very minimal uh, air sounds, vacuum sounds when I was video editing or gaming, recording my gameplay or anything like that. It made very little sound. Uh, whereas before, as soon as it started recording off the Elgato system, doing the flashback recording, it would just automatically sound like a vacuum as soon as it started and you couldn't hear anything over it. All my teammates would hear it as we were trying to play. I added that Corsair H60 and that eliminated a lot of it. It didn't start using the fan noise until it was getting ready to finish and finalize uh, recording the video. But that's why we replaced that front fan because I determined that all the noise was coming from the front fan after replacing the top fan. So there you have it. Any comments, concerns, go ahead and hit me up in a message. I'll, I'll write back if you, if you need any advice or anything like that. Uh, also, don't forget to hit that follow, subscribe, like button, get all the notifications of all my new game videos coming out. And it was a pleasure. Thank you for sticking by and watching with me.